Hi, I'm Dennis Cox, one of the founders of Breaking Point Systems. Today I want to cover release 133. This is our latest release, as we release every month, uh, for the Breaking Point Elite chassis, and we've got some really neat features in this release. So let's go ahead and open up a little quick test that I've made for you guys. And in this test I have two components, one an application simulator, which is generating real application traffic, and another one a security component. Now one of the neat things you'll notice in this release is that we've added something called delayed start. So I'm going to click on the security component, which I've labeled bad guys. I've labeled it app traffic, background traffic, and there's a parameter now on every component called delayed start. And what delayed start does is delayed start allows me to kick off the generation of this traffic 30 seconds after the rest of the traffic starts, or from the beginning of the test. So, for example, if I wanted to point my breaking point box at an HP server, and that HP server is running Oracle, uh, Apache, and DNS. And I want to do DNS request to it, kind of prime to pump. Then I want to bring up the Apache request to it. Then I want to do some background database tasks. I can do that all by setting up three client sim components, uh, which is located on the add compo test component screen, and point them at the server and slowly ramp them up. Now, normally you could do that with load, but this way I can do separation, a little more separation. So just, just a way to separate traffic a little better than normal with load profiles. It's also a little easier than setting up load profiles. So another thing you'll notice that we've added to this is we've added a brand new fan controller. So if you have an elite chassis, it's about 60% quieter when there's no test running. So we've definitely figured out how to cool it a little bit better. And we've added large TCP session support. So you can generate large single stream TCP sessions under Session Sender. There's even a preset you can press for that. But right now I'm going to show you the new real-time stats. So we'll hop over to the summary screen. And the first thing you'll notice is we've gone numeric. So we have numeric values for everything instead of before where we're graph. Originally we had numeric, then we went graph. Now we're going to mix of both. So here's our summary screen. You can see everything. And my buttons are to edit the test, see some info on the test, uh, and stop the capture of traffic because we can capture large amounts of data on the port. And if you go to interface tab, you'll see that all the interfaces that I'm running with, I can get frame and data results. And I can go to TCP and I can actually see, it's important, the TCP state machine of my engine. And what's really important is we follow the the book pretty closely, and that being TCP Illustrated book and the RFCs, we follow them pretty closely so you can see exactly what's going on. So if there's any issues, you can see where we are at and what state machine your client's in, etc. Um, this is really neat. It's also if, you know, I know there's a lot of competition around and people talk about lots of stuff. So if anybody says, look for this on their box. If they don't have a TCP state diagram, chances are they're not realistic. So that's probably your first clue right there. We've also got encryption and application traffic. Neat thing about application traffic is I can actually choose what I want to look at. So if I want to look at just uh, RPC or let's say something like uh, SMB, I can choose SMB and see what the SMB traffic looks like, number connections, etc. I can look at the attacks as well. Great feature about the product is if I click unfollow, I freeze the test like before. I can zoom into the graph if I want to, and zoom out or I could jump to a period in time, like at five seconds, what did it look like? And if I go over the summary tab, I can see all the values that they were at five seconds. I can see what they were at six seconds, at seven. So while you have all this in the report, now you get to look at basically the report in real time, which is really incredible. Um, this is a great feature we've added. So the test is running. Of course, you can always look at the test from the main screen right here. There's also a few other things that we've added to this. You, you guys will find them, but there's probably too many to mention. But take a look at the latest release and tell us what you think. As always, just drop me a note. Thanks.